In this video, I'm going to teach you how Vivid Charts makes it easier to get the data you need to your viewers of your reports in both the state that they need it and representing the time frame that they're expecting. Data is clearly the foundation of your reports, so it's important that it comes back as they expect it so that the charts, the reports, are what they need. Now, when we see people struggle with building reports, there's a few things that we often see around data. One is that the data is just disconnected from the report itself. So sometimes it can take days, hours, possibly even weeks for reports to get updated, which loses some of the impact that your audience or the viewers need for that report. Also, when you're doing calculations on some of these reports, they have to be done manually. So they come off platform, do the calculations and go into the report. And then again, that just takes time and sometimes isn't very effective. So what I'm going to show you are some things that we do here at Vivid Charts that just make it easier for the data to be in the state that you need it. Let's go ahead and look at this instance here. One of the things I want to do is share with you a few personas that will make this conversation better. We have a couple of personas here. One is Ruby the Refresher. Now she is someone who has the ITIL role, but she also has this Vivid Charts Refresher role. And that's because she needs to be able to review the reports. She needs to be able to refresh the data that feed the report in kind of an up to minute accuracy. She needs to be able to share the reports with other stakeholders or people, but one thing that she does not need to do is actually edit the report or edit the charts themselves. So that's, think of Ruby the Refresher as one of our personas. And another persona here is Nora No Role. Now, Nora only has an ITIL role. She doesn't have any vivid charts roles. And she needs to be able to view the reports. She needs to be able to share the reports with other stakeholders, but one thing she does not need to be able to do is update the data that feeds the charts in the report, or she also doesn't need to edit the reports. So again, think of Nora no role as we go through this. Now I'm gonna go into the next tab here, and this is just one example of a slide deck we have here, and it's a vertical bar chart. I'm gonna hit the back over here and go into the editor. So if you're a builder of a report, you would have this. Now one of the choices you have here is choosing if you want this report to be an on-demand option where you can update the data on demand or if you want the daily option where it'll update the data daily. So in this case we'll choose daily, it'll save, we're going to go ahead and publish. Now when I go back into the viewer, one thing you'll see is I have updated this data just you know a couple hours ago, so at 2.40 and you can see that it was updated by me. So one thing we always try to do is make it clear and give context as to when the data was updated and who did the updating. Now if it was updated by the daily update, it would say the time it was updated and it would say it was updated by the system, not by a person here. And so that's just an example. Now, even if you have the daily update, it updates once a day automatically, but you still have a refresh button. And because in this case, I'm an admin, I have the refresh button and then I can click that and then the data would update. Let's go take a little bit more closer look at those features here. So just want to point out, so here I'm on a different instance and I have impersonated nor a no role. So again, I don't have any vivid charts roles. When I go into the viewer here, notice I do get the information. So I can see that this report was updated by Ksenia, one of my teammates on May 22nd at 1155 AM. In this case, it's one of our filterable slide decks. So in this case, I do have filters. I could filter it and run that filter the charts update based on that filter. One thing I cannot do because I'm Nora no role is I don't have the refresh button allowing me to update that. But again, that's okay because as Nora, I don't need to update the data behind the charts. I just need to be able to read and then share the chart. Let's go back in here and let's go impersonate. And we'll say Ruby, the refresher, and we'll impersonate her. Okay, so now I do have the refresher role for Vivid Charts. I'm gonna refresh the viewer here. 
And now it's the same report that we were just looking at. Um, but notice now that as Ruby, I have this refresh button. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. Notice now that I'm updating the data that feeds the report, it shows that the refresh is in progress and it gives the name of who's doing the refreshing so that we always know what's going on. We can see that we have new data loaded. You can see that the charts did change a little bit. And notice now that information has changed. Again, I have the filters available, so I could go ahead and filter it just like I did before and get a filtered chart and report based on the filters I added. But in this case, the information is now up to date of June 26th and we can see that Ruby did it. Just to confirm that again, let's go back here. Let's impersonate Nora. Once that loads, we'll go back here and we'll refresh this again. Again, Nora comes in. She's able to view the report. She can't refresh it, so the data is what it is, but she can see that Ruby refreshed it as of just one minute ago. Now, hopefully that allows you to take a look at some of the features that are here in the viewer that allow the user based on their role and based on their needs of being able to refresh the data are able to see the data that they need, able to give context for when that data is there and updating these reports are as simple for, in this case, Ruby clicking refresh to get the data in the moment. So just some quick takeaways for this in your thinking of how VividCharts helps you is the data feeding the report here is connected directly to your ServiceNow instance. Viewers who need the controls to update the, the data on demand have those controls. Viewers who only need to view information but don't need to update the data, such as Nora, have the capability of doing that. And also, if you need the report updated every day, you do have the daily update option. Those are just some takeaways for this. I hope to share some more benefits and features of the viewer part of our application and how we make it easier to share your reports in the way that you need it for your audience.